Hi, this is Tim with Afterleader Audio, and today we're going to be looking at Carve, our new module. It is four channels of function generator, oscillator, slew limiter, envelope, and VCAs. Okay, let's talk about channels one and four first. Um, first up, we have uh, just the unipolar oscillation mode. We can change our attack and our release time. Um, and then there's also this shape knob, which is really, really cool. So you can just change the shape of this voltage. And then there is a attenuverter as well. So you can do an inverse um, negative voltage or your positive, and then you can attenuate or attenuate that. Um, channel one has an output of five volts that can be attenuverted as well. So negative five to positive five volts. Um, and then channel four has 10 volt output so that that's actually the only difference between channels one and four is we have a five volt output here on one and a 10 volt other than that they're identical so something that um, also distinguishes channels one and four from two and three is the uh, the in slash trigger switch so in trig mode we can just fire in uh, a gate into the in slash trig input Turn the speed up on this. So now we're just triggering an envelope, which we can change the shape of. And then in in mode, we'll put a stepped voltage in there. We can add some slew. So if we turn the attack and release all the way down, shape at noon, we see it's just the standard step. We can start adding some slew to that. This is really great for adding some glide to your um, melodic sequences and then of course one and four have uh, a rise and fall trigger outputs so the rise basically sends a trigger once the rise cycle is done and then the fall sends a trigger once the release cycle is done I like to actually get them kind of cascading and triggering each other it's kind of a fun way to get a couple different modulation signals um, that are in sync with each other, but very different from each other. Okay, so now let's talk about channels two and three, which are identical to each other. The main difference here is, well, one, we have bipolar oscillation mode. And we have our unipolar oscillation mode, which through the attenuverter can still go in a negative. And then the other difference is there are no rise or fall trigger outputs um, because we have decided to put uh, both a trig and an input. So there's no you don't need a switch. You can just use the trigger if you want to use a gate to trigger the envelope cycle, or you can use the input to put whatever voltage you want to add slew to. And then an added CV control. Uh, we have the CV control over attack and release for all four channels, but channels two and three have a both CV in, so you can actually get a signal in here. Well, let's just show you. We can just control the, both the rise and fall at the same time. Here, let's get this little. All right, let's talk about the VCAs on Carve. Through the use of the VCAs, you can use Carve as a mixer also. So I'll show you how that works. Um, first off, I'm just gonna put uh, a triangle oscillator into the VCA input here on Carve, and then VCA output, get self-oscillating. We got a channel um, of VCA that actually can have an envelope built into it because you can use the uh, onboard modulation or you can trigger it. So yeah, pretty simple VCA. Um, what's really cool about the VCAs is they normal into each other. So what that means is if I plug in to the output of VCA2 and get channel 1 um, oscillating here or triggering it, I can actually get the output of 1 out of uh, the output of 2 if I don't use the channel one output and this goes on down the line so I can go all the way to channel four now I can get this oscillating
And I can actually plug a few more signals. I can go into channel 3. Get that oscillating. And then, of course, channel 4. Let's see, do I have another oscillator here? Yeah, let's put some some nasty stuff in from Bog. <laughs> this doesn't sound that great, but I wanted all these signals to stand apart from each other. So the, here's how you can use Carve as a mixer. If you got everything normal to the output of channel 4, and you don't have anything modulating, well then it's all quiet, but you can, you can get this going. You can actually still have these modulating or being triggered externally. You can control the volume through the output. And then, of course, you can still use your output to use the, uh, the actual voltage outputs. Okay, now this is where it gets really fun. I'm going to show you how you can use Carve as a full voice. Um, so let's just start with the oscillator. Um, I just, I'm going to use channel 2 as my oscillator because it has the bipolar self oscillating mode. So if you go into bipolar there, we have our CV source, but as we took take our attack and release time down, we actually get an oscillator. Now I'm going to take a stepped random voltage and put it through an ornament in crime to quantize it and uh, I'm going to plug this um, quantized random stepped voltage into the attack. CV in for channel 2. So now let's look at Carve as a filter, the next step in our full voice. So we have our self oscillating um, bipolar channel as our oscillator. We've got our, our sequence going into the attack time. Um, so we're going to run the output of the channel 2, the VCO voice, into the input of channel 3, and then the out into our mixer. Now our attack and release times become our cutoff. And the shape, the shape knob also controls how this is, uh, how this behaves. We can use some some external signal there. So now to complete the full voice, I am going to take the output of channel three, so our filtered output, I'm going to put it into the input of channel four, the VCA input of channel four. The VCA output of channel four is going to go to our mixer. Um, I'm going to use these the steps here. I'm going to use the random gate to trigger channel one. And then I'm going to put the channel one output into the uh, the input of channel four. And now we have our sequenced voice being filtered, then being put into a VCA that's being controlled by channel one. This isn't that musical. This is a very like simple, stripped down, quick version of this, but you can get some really fun results with uh, this patching technique. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit afterlateraudio.com.